This map shows the annual average sea level rise from 1993 to 2010. And where is the Philippines? It's actually here in a region where a very high rise of sea level was observed. Zooming in, we can see that Davao City residential areas, coastal zones, is mostly under sea level and will be surely affected by future sea level rise, projected sea level rise. So what causes, what do you think is the main reason of the sea level rise? Yes, as we all know, the main reasons are the melting of glaciers and ice sheets in the poles and the warming of the ocean water, which causes the water to expand. And as we know, the 20th century, this 20th century sea level rise is mainly caused by the 20th century global warming. According to Laudato Si, climate change represents one of the principal challenges facing humanity in our day. This module will discuss the basic principles of climate change and we will also discuss the things that we need to adapt to. The objective of this module is for you to, different, to be able to differentiate weather from climate, understand how the components of the climate system which controls weather and climate and eventually causes climate change. In this module, we will also discuss Philippine climate and the climate projections for our country and in Mindanao. Let's look at global warming in a scientific way. So the observation is that the average global temperature of Earth has been increasing rapidly over the last century. Now this is different from global warming, natural global warming that been um, part you know, of the processes um, on earth. You know. So there are several um, measurements you know, that were observed using climate proxies, such as ice cores, corals, and tree rings. There are several measurements using um, advanced equipment in measuring temperature, for instance, that shows that the global temperature is actually increasing. So the hypothesis is, of course, there are natural variations that causes these sudden changes. For example, is the volcanic eruptions of Mount Pinatubo. Did you know that af a year after the eruptions, there was a global cooling due to Mount Pinatubo? And in this case, you know, we can say that um, natural processes, you know, natural phenomena such as volcanic eruptions and solar activity actually is very responsible you know, in this amplified global warming. So to test this hypothesis, we use climate models and observation. So we compare them. But we found that at the um, from 1980s onward, you know, or maybe 1970s onward, the rise in temperature cannot be explained by natural causes. So this is the model output for natural causes of global warming. And the black curve shows the observed data. So we can see a divergence between the model and the observed. Hence, we need another hypothesis because that is an anomaly already. No, on the hypothesis. So our next hypothesis is that, hmm, is it only natural variabilities? How about the anthropogenic or human induced global warming? Okay. So this, um, this is actually uh, a graph of the observed temperature increase no? from the early, after the industrial revolution and we can see that the average temperature has been increasing since then okay. and this is unprecedented as compared to prehistoric changes in global temperature so we need another hypothesis and this hypothesis is that human activities 
since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution causes this amplified global warming. And as we can see, the red curve is actually the model output, which considers the natural variabilities and the human-induced variabilities. So our new hypothesis now is that natural variations as well as human-induced changes are responsible for this amplified global warming. And this hypothesis is still undergoing paradigm shift. There are still many skeptics um, uh, arguments no, that can actually uh, disprove this hypothesis. But as of now, these human-induced changes have been supported by many um, experts you know, around the globe by several studies, experiment, you know, and modeling around the globe. So we test the correlations and we found that the observed and um, the observed you know, and the model are actually converging. Okay. So what is greenhouse effect? Again, it's actually a naturally um, natural process, no, where naturally occurring gases such as carbon dioxide, methane, and other greenhouse gas or trace gases can actually trap or absorb enough heat you know, to sustain life. So it, it's a natural process and we need it to sustain life on Earth. However, due to human activities, you know, especially after the Industrial Revolution, more gases, multiple you know, gases were produced by human activity and hence it traps more heat within the atmosphere you know, and um, causes this enhanced greenhouse effect or amplified warming. So what is climate change? Um, to understand climate change, we really have to understand first the system that controls it, that causes it, and we call it the climate system. Climate system is actually the interactions of land, atmosphere, and ocean on which the energy comes from the sun, okay? Um, in this system, we also include the influence of human activities, okay? So basically, we have this natural causes, no? natural forcings um, of the, in the climate system. So they said that plate tectonic, changes in plate tectonic can also affect it but maybe just a little and then of course changes in the earth's orbit causes changes in our climate also and changes also in the sun strength because the energy of the climate system comes from the sun okay, so all these changes can um, possibly affect you know, our climate system but then again climate system is an interaction of these components in which human you know, have a great impact Okay. And any changes uh, or any perturbation in the climate system will also um, introduce changes in this component you know, and so on. Okay, so again, one of the processes you know, um, in the, in the important in the climate system is the energy budget you know, within the earth. Okay, so basically the energy is driven, you know, our climate system is driven by two things, the way energy from the sun moves in and out of the atmosphere and the way heat is transported around the atmosphere. You know. And this can all uh, be explained you know, by this phenomena, the greenhouse effect. Okay. What is greenhouse effect? Basically, you have the greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, methane, you know, and uh, CFCs that can trap or can absorb the heat coming from the surface of the earth. Note that this heat from the surface of the earth is actually a result of the energy coming from the sun. Okay? So these gases trap this heat and put it and bounce it back to the surface, thus increasing our, our uh, thermal radiations no? near the surface of the earth. Okay? So greenhouse warming makes the earth habitable without these greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, Earth's mean temperature will be about negative 18 degrees Celsius. 
So it's very it's an very important phenomena. Again, that uh, processes you know, um, is basically controlled by the climate system. So all these interactions between the atmosphere, the biosphere, lithosphere, cryosphere, hydrosphere, and even anthrosphere or the human activities sphere um, contribute to the um, characteristics no, of our to the behavior of our climate system. Okay. And um, because of that, no, uh, because of, of let's say uh, the tilt of the earth no, and the shape of the earth, there is actually an uneven solar heating no, uh, between the equator, mid-latitude and polar region. And this uneven solar heating causes wind no, and um, give birth to atmospheric gave birth to atmospheric circulations you know, to the monsoons that we're experiencing right now to the ITCC tropical cyclones etc okay that's why we have a warm and cold climate you know. so we have seasons you know, as a result but note that the Philippines is near the equator and um, we, we basically it's like summer all year round Okay, so um, climate system is actually composed of the weather, you know, the resulting process, the weather, and the climate. Okay, weather is just the daily condition of the atmosphere and is um, characterized you know, by daily changes in the temperature, air pressure, winds, you know, and other short term, short time scale uh, conditions, atmospheric conditions. While climate, on the other hand, is the average weather pattern in a place uh, in a place over many years. So usually it's 20 years, no? Uh, it's seasonal, yearly, decadal, or longer time uh, scale averages. And climatology is usually um, defined over 20 years, no? Of, of season you know, or, or even decade, okay? So climate is what on the average, we may expect while weather is what we actually get. So, you daily uh, forecast weather, you know, daily condition of the atmosphere, and this one is our climate. You know. This is basically, for instance, um, tag tuyot, you know, tag init, tag ulan. Yeah, those are climate you know, or clima. And it's again controlled by the climate system. So, let's look at climate, you know, specifically. Um, let's look at Koppen climate classification. I think there are many world climate uh, index, you know, but I think we're most familiar with the Koppen climate classification. We're in our country is, as we know, uh, tropical savanna, you know, and um, uh, monsoon and rain uh, forest. So in the future, they said that um, still tropical, not much change about um, our climate, but uh, there will be a warmer the sun okay so however as i've said our country is near the equator and our season is mostly summer summer season okay um, but our climatology is actually um, controlled by our rainfall climatology okay in fact we have our own climate types you know? we call it the modified coronas climate types we have type one, um, wherein there is a pronounced dry period and wet period. And then the type two, uh, the eastern seaboard, you know, wherein uh, there's almost no dry season. And because um, we have most of the tropical cyclones over here, and then it's also affected by other systems. Okay? Type three, on the other hand, you know, um, also experiencing uh, mostly dry period. You know, it, type three is inside um, our region. Okay, but type four, which is um, also inside you know, our our uh, Philippine region, um, it's mostly uh, experiencing rainfall. You no, know, all year round, and I think Davao City is. Uh, of this type, no? So even if in the Tagulan sa, sa buong Pilipinas, no? 
we can still experience rainfall. Now, um, the climatology of the Philippines is mainly driven by rainfall variability in our country. And rainfall is, most, um, is mostly due to large-scale systems such as the Habagat, uh, even Amihan, you know, and Easterlies. Okay, but take note that Amihan uh, brings in dry air, meaning there's no moisture, but uh, as it passes through uh, uh, high temperature water, you know, from surface temperature, it can actually help generate rains, you know, through convergence with the easterlies or yung mga hangin na nanggagaling sa east. Okay? So, of course, tropical cyclones, you know, is one of the main um, ingredients of our rainfall climatology. Okay? And also the intertropical convergence zone, you know, this is um, actually dancing um, around the equator, okay? And most of the time, Mindanao is affected by ITBZ. Um, others, of course, are climate variability such as El Nino and La Nina and other systems. No? Uh, in specifically for our region, we have this local system such as thunderstorm, okay? um, coastal, coastal systems such as sea breeze and ocean breeze. Now that can cause rainfall around this area. Okay, uh, for instance, out of monsoon, no? uh, this comes from our south and uh, from west. No, it comes from a very uh, moist, no, and warm area. So it brings rain. So most of our rain actually around the country is from southwest monsoon. No, and um, forty percent of our rainfall in the Philippines is mostly from uh, southwest monsoon and uh, the western seaboard is actually affected. Now the sun is very much affected by Habagat. Okay? And uh, for Mindanao, um, especially in our areas, maybe around 10% to 20% only comes from southwest monsoon. Okay? Um, tropical cyclone, uh, of course, even if uh, most of the cyclone comes from the Pacific, you know, it still affects uh, the western seaboard. You know, because it basically enhanced the southwest monsoon. So, pag nagtapat si tropical cyclone and then um, southwest monsoon is very much active, uh, yung rainfall dito are quite, uh, can actually cause uh, extreme no? flooding. You know, it happened before, I think, in 2009, 2012. And it's been happening. No? So, uh, for Mindanao, uh, as we know, we're... Um, below you know, the tropical cyclone belt and um, just few cyclones pass over our area and mostly during uh, December no, or Amihan season kasi yung Amihan pinupush niya pababa mostly no, yung tropical cyclone so expect that during Amihan no, uh, tropical cyclone will pass over uh, this area no, Mindanao or Visayas okay. 